Okay, well, welcome back to the shop. It's Sunday, February 23rd. This will be the fourth and last uh, shop video before I head down to the boat uh, in uh, next month uh, to get everything that I've been working on here installed and uh, hopefully have it all together by the time Diane and Hannah join me. Um, so this is kind of the odds and ends video. Um, as you saw, there's lots of different things I've been uh, working on. One of them is, you know, just this piece of... Uh, Cortison white oak that I had scrap sitting up in the rack and uh, this actually is the perfect size and will be um, through bolted to the inside of the vanity head to hold up the shelf and so it'll get mounted onto here and uh, went ahead and painted those just to keep them uh, clean and then also not absorb any uh, odors. So what else has been going on? Uh, one of the things you saw me making are these little brackets. And these are essentially more of the quarter sawn white oak. Uh, I like quarter sawn white oak uh, because, well, I make furniture out of this stuff. And it's also very dimensionally stable. Unlike a flat sawn uh, wood that always warps in the direction of the annual rings, quarter sawn is very dimensionally stable. It doesn't really expand and contract as much as a flat sawn uh, wood. And it also is very... Um, uh, uh, averse to actually warping and so I've already uh, pre-drilled all these to mount onto the bulkhead see this little notch right here at the tip what that is is to accommodate this little edge here and so by putting that this notch in here each of these guys will fit very snugly up into the edge of the uh, fuel manifold this here is the uh, actually the the return fuel manifold for the boat Here's the uh, uh, return outs to each of the three tanks, and this will be uh, fuel coming in from the polishing system, and this will be what scavenges off the engine. Um, so I'll be assembling those with some uh, uh, fuel-specific Teflon tape, and um, hopefully it all comes together nice and easy. So fuel system's done. So what else is going on? Um, this guy. This is uh, one of the two electric, uh, one one of electric pump that I have on board the boat. Um, this failed on us on our last trip, as well as our both of our manual bilge pumps. The this is the uh, Jabsco Par electric bilge pump model three six three four six hundred. These things are super easy to rebuild. Essentially, just take out the four bolts that hold the motor to this plastic housing. You lift it off. You pop out the two butterfly valves that are on the inside, and then also the bellows that are uh, holding the, uh, um, that operate the pump. So those will go in. The last one that's been the pain in the butt has been the Whale Model 25. It's original to the boat uh, from 1978. I was having a lot of trouble getting the gasket to seat into the lid. And the problem with that is that it's not a, it's just a, like a piece of rubber rope and it's super hard to try to keep it in there. What I found that worked really well to hold it in place is essentially this stuff. It's the um, uh, Permatex Super Weather Adhesive. This is what you use to put in windshields, and so it's safe for the rubber and the metal. And I put this thing stuff down just like contact cement, and then the uh, rubber rope went in there just fine, and then I went ahead and backed it up with some Permatex Number two, non-hardening Forma gasket sealant. I put that in there, tested it out. There was a little bit of leakage when I went and tested it, and that was because I still needed to tighten up these bolts in the back, which pulled this edge down a little bit further. See if it works.
<laughs> Success. So I'm hoping actually that this stuff oops, will actually work for the other pump that's in the boat that's in really bad shape. Um, but I think maybe I'll be able to get it working again. So uh, travel plans. Um, I'll be heading down separately from uh, Diane and Hannah, um, hauling all this gear down. Oh, I'll have about four days to do all the work in the field and um, might just post one video of, of how well that goes or not well. Um, and I guess that's just about it for now. <laughs> Slight air leak on the air compressor.